Hello photographers and welcome to my channel. So the guy at the on one listened to my complaint and they updated the on one no noise AI which is giving you better result for JPEG, PSD and TIFFs. So just to give you a context what I'm talking about. When the on one no noise AI released I made few tests. Now one of the tests was comparing on one no noise AI against Topaz Denoise AI for JPEG and TIFF. And if you want to see the video, please go and check it out just to give have some context where I said that on one no noise AI is just really really bad when it comes to JPEG and TIFF. So I highly recommend you to check it out. But you can see on the left you have the on one no noise AI and on the right you have the Topaz Denoise AI and you clearly see in the the result it just there is huge huge difference um, so that was when in 13th of July and today is 5th of August and now is the time is 11.15 in Reunion Island and I got the email literally one hour ago saying that they updated the software. Now good on them. I'm very happy that they listened. I'm very happy and satisfied and to be honest with you props to them for letting me try again because my trial period finished long time ago and they updated the software and they allowing you and me to try it again to see exactly if there is any improvement which doesn't happen when it comes to DxO or Topaz because those guys forget about trial if you bought a software uh, and it passed more than one year they don't even let you give you update for free forget about trying it so good on on one known as AI for letting me try again even though I'm not a paid customer to test it. So today, me and you, we're going to test it together. So in order to test it, I'm going to use exact same photo of the previous video. So I've got this raw taken with Panasonic 19, 2015 beach camera, one and a half inch sensor, and the ISO is 1600. So it's a low, underexposed a little bit, and very high noise. How much noise you have? Let me zoom in quite a bit. Let's say 100%. Look at this. Horrible. It's just noisy as hell. Um, so this is a big challenge because underexposed, full of noise, and older raw file. And I created a TIFF file. Pretty much I didn't do anything and this is so just to give you an example so this is the result you can clearly see <laughs> man so this is going to be a really really big challenge for um on one known as ai so let's see if it fixed the t file as if they said so i'm going to do a noise reduction on the raw and noise reduction on the tiff and compare them side by side so this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to turn on on one no noise AI first. So there you go. And let's see how long it takes to even turn on. So that's pretty quick, which is good. And then I'm going to drag and drop first the row. And this is where also I'm going to see some uh, changes if there is any since the last update. So first time, uh, I'm just going to close this learning hub. So yeah, that's pretty quick. And this is the automatic mode. Clearly, I could change the sliders on the left hand side, on the right hand side, my apologies, and do some micro adjustments. So, I'm not going to do that. So, I'm going to leave it as default because I've got a really uh, good surprise for you at the end, which is I'm going to tell you now. We're also going to compare it with the new Topaz Denoise AI and DXO Piero as a gift. So stay tuned, stick around. So there you go. I'm not gonna check it side by side. We're gonna do it later. I'm not gonna waste some time. So I'm going to click done. 
and what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the name is noise reducted. So I wrote no noise AI from row. And I'm going to change the folder because I've got a folder where I've got other photos and save. And from now on, you're going to also see how long it takes to save an image. So it's already did. So that's super quick. I'm very satisfied. Now, second thing I'm going to do is the TIFF. I'm going to show you again just to have the little bit of transparency. So this is the image TIFF. I'm going to drag and drop now and I'm not going to touch it. So there is an issue here. So it's not working. You can clearly see it. There's something wrong with the image. I think it's going to take some time. But at the bottom right corner, you can see that it's doing something. Oh, there you go. So at one point, I got a little scared. Like, what the hell is going on? But no, everything is fine. So it says, on one no noise AI is optimized for raw photos. You are using a non raw photo. The result will be good, but not as good as raw photo if available. So let's click OK. And again, I'm not touching anything. Everything remains default. Listen, um, to be honest with you, sincerely, it is working, but did you see there is an issue here? Uh, I can already clearly see that there's a lot of issues here. So, so let me, let's, let's fix this issue. We're going to do it together. So clearly see that it's not working. Uh, it's not doing as they claimed it to be. So how are we going to fix it? So I'm going to cancel it first. Now we're going to go back. I'm going to delete. So I'm going to delete this T file that originally created to test. So let's delete it. And I'm going to bring it over to on one no noise um, affinity photo and drag and drop this row. And in the details, I'm going to turn off noise reduction. So let's zoom in a little bit. So yeah, as you can clearly see, I turn off the noise reduction. And I'm going to click develop right there. And from there, I'm going to export it as TIFF and then export in the folder. Give me a second. Right, we are good here. So I'm going to close it. Now, second trial. So let's take a look at the TIFF file first. If it's noisy and s yep, there you go. I can clearly see it. So this time I created this TIFF file using Affinity Photo right in front of you. And let's drag and drop and see if there is any change here or it remains the same. Mm, it's taking a little bit of time. I'm not going to fast forward it. I'm going to leave it as it is for you. You can clearly see that it's taking a while. It's actually taking longer than the T file. And boom. Okay. I think we had a second trial. We had a success. Looks like uh, it fixed the issue. Looks better. Okay. Anyway, what are you going to do? I'm going to save it. Done to the second folder and I'm going to change the name TIFF to TIFF. All right. Time to compare side by side. All right. We are in SilkyPix Developer Studio Pro where I'm going to compare all the images side by side. So which one is what? First one is actually from Topaz. Second one is the DxO Deep Prime. Third one, on one no noise AI from the RAW. And the other one, from on one no noise AI from the TIFF is important to remember. Now, I don't know what you see, but if you if I compare side by side, there's a little change in the exposure. Just take a look at the shadow. But I don't think that's the problem because of on one no noise AI or because it's from TIFF. It's because when I've dragged and dropped in Affinity Photo, I think that's where it happened. It changed the curb somehow, even though I didn't touch anything. So I don't care. Our, our goal here is to check the noise reduction and sharpening. Is it good enough? So I'm going to double click, open the window side by side. We are looking at the result from on one no noise AI from the row. Very important to remember from the row. 
I'm going to zoom in at 100% because we are here to check the sharpness. So let's stop at 100. Now I'm going to open the next image. So the one on the left is from the TIFF to TIFF. One on the right is from RAW to TIFF on one no noise AI. Important to remember. I'm going to put the name on the top. So what do you see? Let's move slowly. Because this image, I like it because it has benefits of every level. Number one, it is a very bad raw image from a very old camera, which means like if the everybody keeps screaming like, oh, you don't have to buy a new camera anymore because, you know, the noise reduction software got better and everything. Let's see. Is it if it's exactly what people claim to be now? So far, I see improvement. That's true. But TIFF still has issues, my friend. I'm sorry, but this is uh, not good enough for me because it's too soft. Mm, still, okay, it's got way better than before, I admit. So good on them. But there is still a detail missing. Look at the green area. Green from the raw has much better detail than the TIFF. So, hmm, not really. But then again, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but in the raw, the shadow area has a little bit of green, but the shadow, the book area, and in the TIFF, it's a lot softer. Um, is there anything else that I can look at? Any artifacts? So I don't see any artifacts yet as we speak. You know, so far I don't see any kind of crazy, crazy problem, to be honest with you. Nothing that I can say that, okay, that just doesn't look right. What I see is that, yes, the TIFF mm, the noise reduction or JPEG noise reduction improved. Then the last time, I highly recommend you to see the video uh, to know exactly what I'm talking about. And I also should mention that the sharpness that I'm talking about here can be improved with a little bit of high pass um, masking or unsharp masking, etc. But right off the bat, not good enough. Now, as I told you, little bit of bonus so you're gonna leave the on one no noise ai raw on the right as i said but now we're gonna to move to dxo d prime dng so let's see ladies and gentlemen what is the all the fuss about so dxo d prime versus on one no noise AI from the row. So both of them from the row because DXO doesn't accept and pure row doesn't accept um, anything else but row. So obviously I had no choice. Um, you know, they're both good. They're both different. I cannot say one is better than the other. The on one looks a little bit softer where the DXO looks much better with the much more detail. Mm, but, you know, nothing huge. Now let's move on to the Topaz. That's a new Topaz using, it's important, severe noise. So details are not that much. I mean, they both literally look identical identical although topaz has a little bit less sharpness but then again i insist topaz has sharpening ai number one so obviously when you use it beam is going to change hugely second if you don't have any sharpening ai you can separately add sharpening and everything will be fine because in, remember the details are there both of them has identical detail it's just the sharp thing that has the issue but I use Topaz, I'm happy with it, nothing wrong. That's the DxO PRO. 
and that's the no noise AI from the TIFF. Again, this video is about the email they sent me saying that the D, um, the TIFF or JPEG noise reduction improved. It has, I admit, but it's not significant and it's still a lot of work to do. So guys, if you're watching the video and especially the guys at the on one, listening to the watching this video it's my pleasure to make this video for you guys and i thank you for letting us downloading it again for free for 14 days so that i can test it i did test you can see it if you want i can send you over the uh, the result myself i can even send you over the raw file if you want to uh, be my guest i'm more than happy but it still has a lot of work to do it's also important that where the TIFF coming from or the JPEG coming from, if you are using as a layer in Photoshop or Affinity, clearly it got better result than exporting the TIFF from, I don't know, different software. If you have like a Canon, if you're using Canon DPB, if you're using Nikon and, and you have the Nikon NX Studio or so on and so forth, result may vary because depending on how they are giving the output. So remember when you're exporting the TIFF, leave the color noise reduction as it is default, but reduce the luminance noise and the sharpening to zero. And then you might get better result from the TIFF. That's it from me. And please do like and subscribe if you do. That'd be awesome. And I see you in a future video. Bye-bye.